Before we start, do not forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notification bell for more video updates. Good day everyone! Today, we will going to discuss about the music of Philippine festivals. After going through this lesson, you will be able to identify musical characteristics of selected Philippine festivals through video or live performances, describe the origins and cultural backgrounds of selected Philippine festivals, describe how the music contributes to the performance of the musical production, and improvise music accompaniment in relation to a particular Philippine festivals. This unit is an overview of the Philippine festivals and different theatrical forms of the Philippines. Through the lesson, you will identify the origin, characteristics, and background of selected Philippine festivals in Aklan, Cebu, Marinduque, Davao, Bicol, and Batangas. Another part of the lesson will help you appreciate the different Filipino festivals. Organizing and presenting performance of discussed festivals culminates the learner's educational experience. Festivals in the Philippines offer people a chance to exhibit their rich culture and pay homage to the history and patron saints. They are vibrant, big, and celebrated with a lot of pomp and show. No wonder, each province has its own Filipino fiestas that they are very proud of. Tourists from all over the world visit the Philippines not just to see its beautiful beaches and breathtaking sights, but also to experience the country's grand festivals that, without a doubt, make it more fun in the Philippines. It's a known fact that Filipinos take their festivals and fiestas seriously. No matter what the economic situation is, the show or in this matter, the fiesta must go on. Every town usually has their own annual celebrations devoted to their patron saints. It's not an exaggeration when someone says there might be a fiesta going on in some village at any given day. Thus, there is no need to time your visit carefully if you wish to witness the revelry and join the celebration. There is bound to be one during your visit. Due to Spanish influence on Filipinos' Catholic spirituality, most of these festivals are religious in origin. Others commemorate certain important events in history of the country. No matter what the original meaning of the festival was, these days are usually marked with people garbed in elaborate costumes, overflowing foods and drinks, alluvial parades, processions, competitions, and many more. Here, we highlight some of the most popular Philippine festivals. Most of these have become tourist attraction that draws visitors from all over the world. Here are some of the famous festivals in the Philippines. We have Ati Atihan Festival in Aklan, Sinulog Festival in Cebu, Sublian Festival in Batangas, Kadayawan Festival in Davao, Moriones Festival in Marinduque, and Ivalong Festival in Bicol. Ian Festival in Aklan If you plan to visit Boracay in January, you might as well watch the locals masquerading as Negritos in colorful costumes, dancing, and chanting Halabira in Aklan for their Ati Atihan Festival. Similar to Cebu Sinulog Festival, this event celebrated to honor Santo Nino. Ati Atihan Festival in Aklan is one of the best festivals in the Philippines and religiously festivity is also one of the oldest Philippine celebrations. 
The Atiyatihan Festival in Aklan is held every third week of January. People cheer and shout Halabira and Viva Santo Nino to encourage enthusiasm and continuous dancing for duration of the festival. The main highlights of Atiatihan Festival are the parades of tribes and floats, Atiatihan street dancing, and religious processions and torch street dancing. Let's watch this video highlighting the Atiatihan Festival in Kalibo Aklan. Head down south to the Queen City and experience this fiesta in the Philippines that celebrates Cebu's patron saint, Santo Nino, the Sinulog Festival. This is a week-long event that is done with processions, parties, concerts, colorful and lively street dancings, irresistible drambits and parades. The word Sinulog means like the water current and is the name of the step that the dancers perform. The main highlight of the Sinulog Festival in Cebu is the pluvial procession of the miraculous image of Santo Nino. The Sinulog Festival in Cebu is held every third Sunday of January. The petitioners open yell, Pit Senor. The Sinulog Festival. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Sublian Festival in Batangas The Sublian Festival is a two-week-long celebration which culminates every year on 23rd of July. It is rooted in the Batangas devotion to the town's patron, the Holy Cross in Bawan and Agoncillo, and the Santo Nino in Batangas City. This religious devotion translated to a dance from indigenous to Batangas, the Subli. Traditionally performed to the accompaniment of drums and chanting, the Subli praises the patron in the combination of poetry, movement, and music. Today, the Sublian festival features not just devotional dance song, but the street dancing indigenous Filipino games, harana or serenades, the lupakan, awitan at sayawan, an event which combines the sharing of nilupak, the local delicacy, made of banana and sweet potato, with folk songs and dances and even Malungayan Fiesta, a day that celebrates the nutritional benefits of Malungay or Moringa plant. The Sublian Festival also coincides with the city's founding anniversary. 
Sublian Festival in Batangas came from two words, subsub, or bending your body forward or downward, and bali or broken. Let us watch this short highlight of the Sublian Festival in Batangas. Mabuhay, lungsod ng Batangas! This is the Sublian Festival. The prayer dance um, unique to Batangueños. It is a shared culture between uh, Agoncillo, Bawan, and also Batanga City. They're very different, but they are united in form in the sense that it is a prayer dance. We would like to invite everybody to come to Batangas and experience with me. Okay. Let's go south. The Kadayawan Festival in Davao. Kadayawan is a native expression in the Davao non town. It's derived from the word Madaya which means thanksgiving for the nature's gift, warm and friendliness greeting, and to describe things that are good, valuable, superior, and beautiful. Davaoenyo celebrate the annual Kadayawan as a thanksgiving festival and a tribute to its indigenous people. This is usually held every third week of August. The main highlights of Kadayawan Festival in Davao are Indak Indak sa Kadalanan Street Dancing, Kadayawan Floral Parades, and Parada sa Dagat. Let us enjoy watching the highlights of Kadayawan Festival.
Moving on is our next festival in Marinduque called the Moriones Festival. The Moriones is a Lenten festival held annually on Holy Week on the island of Marinduque, Philippines. The Moriones are men and women in costumes and masks replicating the garb of biblical Roman soldiers as interpreted by local folks. The Morions or Morionan tradition has inspired the creation of other festivals in the Philippines where cultural practices or folk history is turned into street festivals. It is a colorful festival celebrated on the island of Marinduque in the Philippines. The participant used Morian masks to depict the Roman soldiers and Syrian mercenaries, which the story of the Passion of the Christ. The mask was named after the 16th and 17th century Morian helmet. The Moriones refers to the masked and costumed penitents who march around the town for seven days searching for Longinus. Morians roam the street in the town for Holy Monday to Easter Sunday scaring the kids or engaging in antics or surprises to draw attention. The Moriones Festival is a folk religious festival that re-enacts the story of Saint Longinus, a Roman centurion who was blind in one eye. The festival is characterized by colorful Roman costumes, painted masks and helmets, and brightly colored tunics. The towns of Boac, Gazan, Santa Cruz, Buena Vista, and Mogbog in the island of Marinduque become one gigantic stage. The observances form part of the Lenten celebrations of Marinduque. The Moriones Festival in Marinduque And last is the Ibalong Festival in the Legazpi City, Albay. The Ibalong Festival is a non-religious festival in Legazpi City, Albay, Philippines based on the Ibalong epic and is held in August. The festival celebrates the epic story of Ibalong who was accompanied by three legendary heroes named Baltog, Handyong, and Bantong. People parade in the streets wearing masks and costumes 
to imitate the appearances of heroes and the villains portraying the classic battles that made their way into history of Bicol. The Ibalong festivals aim to express warmth and goodwill to all people. Visitors and tourists are encouraged to celebrate with the Bicolanos. The Ibalong festival is also known as Ibalon Festival. Let us watch our last video highlighting the Bicolanos Ibalong Festival.
Have you enjoy watching some highlights of the festivals in the Philippines? Now it's your turn to read, reflect, and answer the question in the comment box below. Festivals in the Philippines offer people a chance to exhibit their rich culture and pay homage to the history of patron saints. They are vibrant, big, and celebrated with a lot of pomp and show. No wonder each province has its own Filipino fiesta that they are very proud of. The question is, how would you promote the different festivals here in the Philippines? Okay, that's all for today. Do not forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. And also hit the notification bell for more video updates. Have a good day and God bless!